Welcome to the Hunter Report. Today, we're gonna compare the difference between different lighting tools. This is a very simple diffuser. This is a Gary Fong light sphere. It's also a diffuser, but it's a completely different shape. And this is a snoot. This is more of a directional light focuser. So let's compare and contrast the pros, the cons, and the differences between all these three. So I do have the light on this side. It's gonna produce a very dramatic one side bright, one side dark effect. And I have my stool here, so I'm gonna be sitting right there. Notice I got the camera right here, perfectly manually focused, pretty much on my face. Could be a little bit better, but I am alone here. Thank you so much. Please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up. Let's get to some photographic experimentation. So let's start the countdown of the timer. All right, so we see a nice soft diffusion of the light on the right side of my face and a pretty dark shadow on the left side of my face. There's no reason I can't use the flash in this situation. I just wanna show you continuous lighting uh, so that you can see really what's going on in real time. Let's go ahead and just try a naked bulb. This is a 5,000 Kelvin 75 watt LED light bulb. So let's just go try naked just for the heck of it and see what that looks like. All right, so we have the naked bulb right here. I'm gonna point it at me and let's go take a photo. So the difference we see so far is that the naked bulb is one uh, dimmer than using the diffuser. Uh, the other thing about the naked bulb is that the left side of my face is not as profoundly shadowed. The difference between the sides of my face is just not as profound, the contrast. So um, the diffuser is doing two things. It's concentrating the light with this photoreflective material. So it's, it's providing a lot of directionality. And, and then the black here is not letting the light escape. Okay, so that's the light that's really uh, bouncing around and filling my face when the bulb is naked. So now let's go ahead, see what happens with the Gary Fong light sphere. So we're getting some directionality with the light sphere and also look at my shadow. Um, the light sphere, you can sort of see a half shadow. With the diffuser, there's absolutely no shadow. And then with the naked bulb, you can see a very harsh shadow. Another cool thing you can do with the light sphere is use it as a hair light by putting it behind the subject. Now, I don't have a whole bunch of hair, so let's go and put on a hat to give my head just a little bit more dimension. Let's go and take shot like that. Now that's actually looking super, super cool. It would look even better with a flash in front of it to light up my face. So, and I want that flash to look good. And one area that the light sphere really shines is for, you know, direct flash or off camera flash. So let's just pop a flash onto the camera. Let's see what happens if we put the snoot onto the on camera flash so that the room isn't getting lit. The idea is just the face, just the face is getting lit. We started in one place and uh, we were comparing the difference between diffusers and the light sphere. And then we sort of devolved into a general how to make the light sphere make your shots look super cool. Um, but you can't use a diffuser as a hair light, whereas the light sphere or the snoot makes a perfect hair light. Um, so this is, there clearly is a difference between a diffuser and um, a light sphere. And uh, I like to also use the light sphere on top of a flash when I'm shooting crowd work, when I'm in a party uh, at an event. Um, the light sphere just produces a so much softer light, adds more dimensionality to 
the subject for, you know, studio shots or for engagement shots, posed shots, having a light sphere, two off camera flashes, a snoot, um, and even a diffuser can't hurt. And if you don't have the room for a diffuser, then the light sphere is the perfect solution. It's a sort of in-between point. So this is the Hunter Report. I hope you enjoyed this sort of discussion and the photographic science. Please subscribe, please give me thumbs up, and I will see you soon.